Hassan Borani Jumilang of Shani. Hello, Huyamore, Huyant, Molweni, wherever you are right now, whichever part of the day you find yourself. I hope you're well. Keeping track of those thoughts and striving to be the highest and best version of yourself. Welcome to it. This is the Jewels with Gem podcast, and I am your host, the GG. I am speeding so, 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 so inspired. Well, you know, I feel inspired most days. However, ever since I came across this post, babes, babes, like this post was on the socials and I was like, let me share this with my babes. I came across a post, a lady um, by the name of Fumu, actually, excuse me, Fumi Desalu Vald. I hope I'm, I'm actually pronouncing, you know, her name correctly because that's such a pet peeve of mine. Pronouncing people's names incorrectly, like, how dare you? Anyway, um, she posted a post on Facebook and, uh, you know, obviously feel free to check her content out and check her out. And um, her post means something like this. Um, she got married. Okay, let me just read it how she actually posted it. I got married at 40. I started my YouTube channel at 45. I got pregnant at 48. I gave birth at 49. I had my first collaboration at age 50. I got a second collaboration at age 51. And at 52, my YouTube channel grew from 50,000 to 165,000 in a matter of two months. Everything happened to me later in life and I have a funny feeling there's more to come. So every day, all I pray for is a long life. Just because it's delayed doesn't mean it is denied. Like, wow. Just, babes. I felt it's so important to share this with you because I feel like we are currently living in times where everyone everyone is just so precious. Everyone is just so bothered everyone is just so you know you know like how when you're dancing and people always say like the aim is not to sweat i feel like all of us are just sweating we are just yes in we all just want to get to the race so guess for no book fear you know we all just want to rise to the fame rise to the fortunes rise to the occasion no one can get occasion it's flashy book fear you know so as i want to feel it and it's like everyone wants to be acknowledged and everyone wants to do it as soon as right now as soon as possible and it's like what's currently happening is that we are succumbing to the pressures of society and i'm saying we because i feel as though we all contribute to it otherwise if we weren't contributing to it you know then it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a trend it wouldn't be something that we'd actually notice that we are doing in society and for no reason at all at all i think it also just goes basically to understanding you know and understanding if i was boozy those types of questions then it is bound to be a problem and of course no judgment to abandon that are not there yet because understand your path and somebody else's path is never going to be the same you, you can never compare your journey to somebody else's journey because it's that person's journey yes we might walk the same path but we definitely have different views we definitely have different backgrounds we were raised differently our morals our principles almost everything is vastly different how even our parents are different dna why well, i'm not even talking dna wise because obviously you know but even just one part of even just with the head start as well i think we need to acknowledge the fact that yes we could be or we could all be studying the same thing we could all be studying the same degree but i think we will all have different outcomes of how we will eventually get to where we need to be i need but i think it's because of this we the fact that we don't acknowledge this what's currently happening as i was saying prior is that people are succumbing to the pressures of society you think actually people we are succumbing to the pressures of <laughs> the society that we have built the standards that we have come to accept and you know it's like we're trying everything under the sun just to be acknowledged everything under the sun and of course i'm pretty sure you don't need me to divulge what that actually means but in the grand scheme of things i think 
I mean, I'm going to some kids may be related, but it's, we all have our gifts, we all have our talents, we all have skills, you know, that make us unique. And I think I've always said this to even people around me that honestly, our job is just to basically find out what those are. Find out what your gifts are, find out what your talent is, find out what you're good at, what you're skilled at. And when you do have the courage and the self-confidence to run with it because that's what an athlete does an athlete obviously has an opportunity to run their first race and they're like oh my gosh i feel so empowered when i do this i feel so amazing when i do this like my heart skips a beat when i do this and somebody else when they're singing they might feel the same way somebody else when you know when they're dancing they feel the same way somebody else when they're writing they feel the same way You know, it won't obviously all be the same for everyone. And I think most of it has a lot to do with actually having the courage to move forward with that gift once we have found it. Because understand, Guti, Jomabang Yishu Guti, we are all raised differently. We all have different morals. We also have different views of ourselves. We don't all think that we're great all of the time. I'm pretty sure there's probably people even around you, even you yourself, you might have moments where you feel like it as in, nah, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. And honestly, for how long are we going to keep doing that? For how long? For how long are you going to keep putting off that skill, that talent, until somebody else runs off with it? Blind, blind. Because then it's like, oof. how do you run with it then? Because now it's going to seem like, you're not original you're not authentic and that's only because you didn't rise to the occasion when it was necessary or when you still had the chance to do that and now you're caught up in a cycle whereby you're constantly blaming abandu with your pelamina cutting seven zanana haibu why bani geze loyana i promotion ah forgetting that it's not even about the number of years that you you dedicated to a specific company or, or a specific person a relationship a partnership whatever the case may be it's about the value that you added and i think baba ngira ile kahle kahle yini i value esi eda yo not even to abantu to get even to ourselves what is the value that we are adding at the end of the day tina we are spiritual beings having an earthly experience and i'd like to believe that everything is about evolution because something starts as a seed and grows to be a tree you know the only constant is change and if really yeah i'm gay i don't even know why we even think this way why we even think that we will all rise to the same levels at the same time so so fun to say about that who's going to be our teachers who's going to be our guides you know would we even go through our experiences genuinely like would we even learn the lessons if so can imagine we all want to be musicians and we all just want to rise so can you you know so we just want to buy test tick just want to rise and just cut it short no no guys that i i honestly on on in my in my opinion I just don't think that that is the way that it is supposed to be. You know, and I think and I think some of us don't even realize that like we're only actually going to get the recognition in our later years. It's not going to come when you want it to come. No, 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 darling. This is all divine timing. This is all the creator's timing. This is not about you. even your timing here on earth even your time spent here on earth is determined by divinity so when i'm also still with you eh see scheme so okay therefore and then pythagoras equals to 360 degrees and then what we must all be at the same level at the same time kanja Why are we not patient with ourselves with our journeys? Why don't we trust the process? Why don't we? And as I said, some of us, I need to repeat it again because even 
myself when I thought about it. I was just like, bad gift. <laughs> you know? We don't realize that we are only actually going to get the recognition in our later years. So for now, Kabu Tolly Baf. Kabu Tolly Baf, Le Ushambe. Yazim Silamanzi sis. Sela Amanzi. And this is just really a way of, you know, um, me encouraging you to start looking out for your soul's evolution. And I know it sounds so cliche because wowza, every, everyone is going on about, like, you know, evolution and, you know. But really, truthfully, honestly, spend some time really digging at who you are. And I think also forgive yourself for not knowing about it sooner. And then you can begin the real journey the real work um a lot of the times most of us attribute physical success you know as being the alpha and omega of purpose and i'm pretty sure by now we have all noticed ubuti in that fam that is actually not the case it's not you know and like i said even earlier that we we've just you know this pressure that we've actually succumbed to this pressure that we have actually <sighs> what's that nice word for it that i'm actually looking for um, yes that that pressure that we have allowed ourselves to become submissive to is honestly unnecessary and so time consuming guys yeah wait you don't need to have it all figured out and if Oh my gosh, we are such a beautiful creation. We are part of an even bigger galaxy. An idea that even you and I could never fathom. Like, we could be alive until infinity and we would still not be able to fathom the idea of our creation, of our purpose, of our existence in general. So think of it this way. Are you going to charge your phone every time someone else charges theirs? Even though you know who's on a percent a hundred. So your phone your phone shine J P J if in J ones. Do you charge it? Yeah, first. Yeah, first. Yeah, first. Yeah, I'm gonna maintain it more. I'm putting it more, guys. So. And this is something that I also struggled with, guys. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. I was always like, but guys, you know, why can't I just figure out to go to full full dani? Like, I'm a university, I'm gaga. I'm a course, I'm gaga. I'm a degree, I'm gaga. In three years, you're done. Like, come on, gift. Come on, surely there's something that you can find that you can do within in three years. Come on now, try and make your family proud. You know? And I just had to accept it with the axi. Gaga Figi. That's Gaga Figi, guys. So, if you see, you're feeling kind of lost and you don't really know where your path is leading to, just know that you are exactly where you need to be at that very moment and that everything else will fall into place. Everything else will fall into place, and I know, guys, like it's so somber and so, um, you know, a bit negative to think about. But some of us really are just here for a specific time frame, some of us are just here for 10 years, some of us are here for 20 years, some of us are here for a month, some of us are here for at least 90 years, you know. And I think it's also because, you know, so much fear has been instilled in us over the years. Like, we've been told, eh, hey, hey, life expectancy, I'm getting to the age 15, When if you are at the age of 15, you are lucky. Just count yourself fortunate, you know? I think that's also played a huge role in, in, in the amount of pressures that we have allowed ourselves to succumb to. But, I mean, I... You know, Gilana, Justin Jewuti, Skumbuzani. Jewuti, there's no need for that. There's no need for all of that. It is in Tosas of Wednesday and Kiskat, Magmele, Utsi Things will happen when the time is right. 
when the divine time has allowed Ubi to okay, this can happen. And understand, Ubi, without that divine timing stamp of approval, I can just span. I can just span. You can try and try and try and try and try and try. But if it's not the right time, it's just not the right time. But I'd also like to advise us, you know, as parents, um, those of us who have kids, young kids, um, you know, pre-teens, teens, older kids, um, that we also need to just be patient with our children. I mean, we're living in a completely different age. I mean, age of Aquarius. I mean, hello, we are, wow, guys, we are experiencing life at such a rapid pace, at such an alien pace at such a wonderful pace like honestly guys it is it's amazing times that we are living in currently so be patient with your kids allow them to express themselves the way that they want to express themselves allow them to tell their stories allow them to be their genuine selves you know because guys if you think about aquarius like aquarius like you like when you think about the planet uranus guys lightning layer intelligence is on another level so you better expect that everything is going to be advancing technology is you we're going to be wanting to work on projects together we're going to want to be collabing we're going to be wanting to forge our friendships you know we are no longer in a state of just g we are just we are just just anymore the time for just no guys that that is done away with so if you are a parent be patient with your child be patient with your children be patient with yourself as you are also living in a different age as well things have changed drastically you know just be flow like the water flow like the water but as always guys thank you so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it if you do feel drawn to subscribe please by all means show me some love if not you guys can listen to my other videos that may resonate with you again time spent is always appreciated till next time you know what you gotta do so keep doing what you do peace love and most of all light